Welcome back to another episode here on the Kingdom of Dash. This is episode 19. Uh, last episode at the end, I mentioned that we would be taking a break from the castle, maybe just for a couple of episodes uh, to change it up. And we're going to be working on a new area. Um, and we actually, you know, in order to work on a new area, we had to farm this stuff a little bit. And I have been getting a ton of stuff, as you can see. Um, but you might ask, where's the gunpowder? <laughs> Here's the gunpowder. I'm gonna use it to make rockets, but what we really needed was bones and I got a ton of bones and Made them into all these bone blocks. So uh, plus we have a ton more So yeah, we're gonna be using bone blocks as a building structure for this uh, new base Let's put the gunpowder separate and uh, I've kind of scattered out a location for the base uh, Keeping with I want things to be close by but right out of render um, we have found an area, um, real quick, let me see, how much sugar cane do I have in here? Okay, I got a bit, so I can, I'll leave this gunpowder here, and I'll craft that up later. Um, but let me go to where we are going to be building the new place, and then I'll come back. Okay, to give you a sense of where it is, we're passing the castle right now, and we're just gonna keep going this way just for another second. Alright, and here we are. We're going to be building it in this birch forest right on the water right here. Uh, so also connect, keeping with that theme of everything's going to be connected by water. Uh, this place isn't connected to um, the front of the castle, but if we follow this, uh, it's connected to the other side of the castle. And I believe it loops around uh, even to where we built the port uh, on Lakeshore. So uh, yeah, we'll be connected by water. We'll probably add a little port or something somewhere along here uh but the main village is going to be right here so what we need to do this episode is uh clear out some trees get a little an area defined kind of um and then i want to build the first house that we're going to have over in this area i want to go on ahead and get that uh all the way in this episode i got a bunch of materials that we're going to need to do that um so i'm going to get straight to work right now and start uh clearing trees and I think that there's no better way to do that than in the form of a third-person time-lapse. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in a bit. you guys enjoyed that time lapse uh since then i have uh laid a bit little bit of like foundation for what we're gonna do and i thought we could build a little bit together uh here on camera and then we'll finish the rest of it up in a time lapse um so for the base of this what we want to do is first i need to get the materials we will need some brick stairs polished andesite spruce wood a bunch of fences some brick walls and we're gonna need a lot of this blue wood as well so let me grab a bunch of that Okay, first things first, we need to do the platform that we are standing on right now. So I've marked out little pillars with uh, uh, grass, or it was dirt, but now it's grass, really. So let's go on ahead and build, bring these up all the way around. Or, you know, we can just do this, this side uh, for the sake of teaching. Um, all the way around this, we also want to do stairs, so that's why it doesn't matter what that is. The stairs are going to be going all the way around up into right there. At these middle bits, we want to bring out, you know, our staircase. This is how we get up. And we border that with this right here. And why we needed slabs, which I did not make, but we can craft right now. And they'll come down just one slab up above that, uh, just like that, very nicely. And uh, also, we will need stone brick stairs upside down along here with the fences above 
let's do that over here as well. Okay, let's bring the fences in right here along the top. Okay, uh, these little bits right here are going to be full pillars or, you know, like the start of our wall. Um, so yeah, the structure looks pretty big, but the build itself in the middle is not that big at all. I'm not entirely sure how large this is, uh, but it doesn't matter too much because it comes up uh, really high. But we're just going to work on this first part right here. Let's get this side as well. This one two, three, here, one, two, three. That was scary. That's the Enderman. Make all of these stripped. There we go. That's how we're looking so far. So now let me actually grab the bone blocks, which I completely forgot to grab that we're going to need that I mentioned before. And we're going to bring these up in here as sort of like a wall. So let's bring these up four high, probably. Just like so, we'll break out two blocks in the middle because I'm sure there's going to be a window here eventually. I'm not entirely sure what the colors of this kingdom are going to be. I was thinking maybe red and orange or uh, something along those lines. Maybe like orange and light gray, like we're kind of doing orange and white, something along those lines. Um, uh, I think it will contrast well with the blue warped wood that we're about to put in here. Um, so speaking of blue warped wood, let's do that. This needs to come up... Uh, on every single one of these columns needs to be a stone brick wall. Let's do all of that. And then above that is going to be on every single one of a, another fence. This one is going to have two fences. The corners will have two fences. All the others will just have one. All right. And then we want to add a wall here. A wall. Oh, come on. I can get up. A wall there. There. And same thing on this side. One here, one there, and the last one worked out perfectly. It goes right there. Okay, so let's see how this is looking. Not too bad. Uh, now I think we need to go in with some of this block. It goes right on top of it like so. Yep. All right, we're going to come in with some slabs as well. Come up one. Very good. Then two, and then another two, and then the last one, like so. And now I need to do that kind of in reverse. I think I need to go five slabs here in the middle, three full blocks, two of these, two full blocks, and then a slab on the top. And I have to do that on this side as well. So let's go back down to, I think, full block here. Slab, be hard to see. I didn't do that right. Slab goes, oh, maybe I did do that right. One sec. Let me just break this. Three, four, five. That's a slab and then a full block. Slab, nope. Slab right there. Very nice. We need to get back up here again. Bring these over three. And then they go full block for two, slab for two, full block for one, and then just bring this up. I believe that is correct. Now we get what we got to do is just kind of the middle of this. Two, three, four, five. Because this is, we'll say it's like three half slabs thick, so a block and a half thick. So just on the middle one, you place uh, this dark oak uh, slab. To kind of uh, give it a bit of a line, and then here at the end, come up like that for the bottom one. All right, so that is how this uh this looks, the shape of it. I know you can probably tell that we're going for an Asian-inspired build here. So uh, I'm going to uh, finish the rest of this build off in time lapse mode, and then I will come back and uh, show you guys our completed project for our first day over in this new area.
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Uh, this is all I could get done with the materials I have on hand. Uh, so I had to stop the time lapse here. Uh, but I'm going to go gather up the rest of the materials. We need more dark oak wood, uh, which we have a ton of that over at our castle, just right over there. Um, and I need some glass, which we also have some at the castle. And I need lanterns, I need some chains, I need some flowers and such. Uh, so I'm going to go get all of that stuff and I'm going to come back, finish this up, and I'll show you guys our finished product for this episode. All right, guys, we are back, and I have detailed up the uh, the rest of the house and finished the edges. Let me fly up and show you guys what the other side looks like. Uh, we've got two small dormers coming off the other side. Uh, for windows, I said red or orange, but I actually decided to go with white, mainly because I already have all that bone mill there to dye it. And then, uh, you know, I just dug up some sand. Um, from There's a, a larger beach over that way, or maybe it was over that way. I don't know. One of those ways, there was a beach with some sand, and I dug it up. So, um, yeah, got some sand and smelted it up for this glass, and I got a rose bush right here, and you can just bone mill, if y'all didn't know, here, let me show you really quickly, where's our stuff, you can just bone mill these, oh, that was a mistake, you can just bone mill these and get more, so it's, like, infinite if you have bone mill, so, uh, we did some of that, and, uh, I've got those there, uh, along with just normal, you know, gra tall grass and stuff, and also sometimes... Uh, just the two high tall grass. I uh, haven't done the interior. I'm sure this we're, I'm just gonna move uh, that stuff into here though uh, Probably between this episode and next episode and next episode. We'll probably do a little bit of the outside I want the the landscaping here to be very different uh, Stark contrast to what we've got in our other area. I want it to be a beautiful like well-kept gardens um a beautiful well-kept series of gardens with paths intertwining between each home uh, and there won't be as many homes it won't be very dense but it will be very beautiful is uh eventually the goal for this area but i think uh next episode or next week we will do the outside landscaping garden around this flat area and then maybe go back to the castle or to lakeshore which still needs a name I might add so if you guys are watching this and you have a good name for the dark forest castle we've been working on please drop it down in the comments let me know because uh, I, I don't know what to name that place and also I do not know what to name this place um, but yeah I really enjoy how this looks and uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button uh, tell me how much you enjoyed it in the comments if you want to and definitely tell me about those castle names uh, feel free to subscribe but we should almost be at 100 at the time of me recording this and when we do hit 100 I do have a new special series coming out soon uh, that will probably be a limited series but I think it'll be a fun thing for us to do um, on the channel that can help possibly grow the channel even more so uh, look forward to that anyways guys my name is dash and as always thanks for watching